And I greet you in Jesus' precious name. It's just wonderful to be with you again on the program. It is a beautiful, cool day on the farm. We've had some wonderful rain, so we are rejoicing. If you have your Bibles with you, if you could turn with me, please, to the book of Jeremiah, chapter 9, and I'm reading verse 24. The Lord says, But let him who glories glory in this, that he understands and knows me, that I am the Lord, exercising loving kindness, judgment, and righteousness in the earth. For in these I delight, says the Lord. And then Philippians chapter 3 and verse 10 is a scripture that I love so much. Oh, that I might know him and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his sufferings being conformed unto his death. That's what Paul said. Paul said, oh, that I might know him. Now, Paul probably had a more intimate relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ than any other of the apostles. But yet he wasn't satisfied with that. He still wanted to know him. And we need to ask ourselves a question today. Do we really know the Lord? What is it then that Jesus Christ requires and expects from you and I. Well, I think Micah chapter 6 and verse 8 sums it up beautifully. Do justly, love mercy, and walk humbly with your God. I think that sums it up in a, in a sentence, doesn't it? You see, being a Christian is not a matter of following a whole set of rules. Oh, no. It's not learning uh, a whole lot of scripture verses. With all due respect, a parrot can do that probably better than you and I. It is knowing the Lord intimately. You see, you can, you can know the Bible inside out, but uh, that doesn't mean to say that you know the Lord. You see, you can know this book. You can know it inside out. But unless you've met the author of the book, then you don't know it. All you are is a history teacher. We need to know him and not only know him, but also understand him. I love the story when Duncan Campbell, that Scottish evangelist, went up to the Hebrides Islands up to the Isle of Lewis and the, the Isle of Harris off the west coast of Scotland in the 1950s. He had been invited there to do a two or a three week uh, Christian outreach, a campaign. But when he arrived in the little fishing boat, there were two old ladies that were waiting for him on the harbor, the Morris sisters. One was blind, and the other one was doubled up in two with arthritis. And when uh, the evangelist got off the little boat, they greeted him and they asked him a question. <laughs> they said to him, Mr. Campbell, do you know God? And he said, ladies, I sincerely hope I do. And of course he did. You know that, that that little two, three week uh, uh, outreach lasted for two and a half years because a revival broke out and people came from all over the world to see, to know and to understand God. Until the next time, God bless you and goodbye.